The company behind ChatGPT announced that its chatbot will now have the ability to speak. It's allowed sites to opt out of uh, uh, the browsing feature. ChatGPT, viral AI sensation, the slayer of boring office work, the sworn enemy of school teachers and Hollywood screenwriters alike, is finally getting some new powers. On Monday, ChatGPT's maker, OpenAI, announced that it was giving the popular chatbot the ability to see, hear, and speak with two new features. But is this new feature going to be helpful? Let's find out. Recently, OpenAI announced major new upgrades to ChatGPT, including the ability to see images, hear voices, and speak in a human-like voice. This makes ChatGPT the first multimodal AI chatbot capable of processing and generating both text and multimedia content. The new ChatGPT capabilities are still under development, but they could potentially revolutionize how we interact with computers. The introduction of voice and image capabilities in ChatGPT is designed to provide a more intuitive interface and expand how AI can be used in daily life. For instance, users can discuss landmarks, plan meals, or seek assistance with homework using these new features. The rollout will initially be available to ChatGPT Plus and ChatGPT Enterprise users over the next two weeks, with voice available on iOS and Android and images on all platforms. The voice feature is powered by a next text-to-speech model and OpenAI's open-source speech recognition system, Whisper. This allows users to engage in back-and-forth conversations with AI, creating a more interactive and engaging user experience. Users can select from five different voices, create in collaboration with professional voice actors, adding a layer of personalization to the AI interaction. Meanwhile, Spotify has teamed up with OpenAI to use voice-based technology for an exciting purpose. The former has announced a pilot of a tool called Voice Translation for Podcasters. This can translate podcasts into different languages using the voices of the folks who appear on the show. Spotify says the tool can retain the speech characteristics of the original speaker after converting their voice into other languages. ChatGPT can now see, hear, and speak. The image feature, on the other hand, allows users to show one or more images to ChatGPT, which can then analyze and discuss the images. This image understanding is powered by multimodal GPT-3.5 and GPT-4, which applies language reasoning skills to a wide range of images. This feature could be handy in scenarios where visual context is essential, such as discussing a piece of artwork or identifying a landmark. The image feature, on the other hand, allows users to show one or more images to ChatGPT, which can then analyze and discuss the images. This image understanding is powered by multimodal GPT-3.5 and GPT-4, which apply language reasoning skills to a wide range of images. This feature can be handy in scenarios where visual context is important, such as discussing a piece of artwork or identifying a landmark. OpenAI is planning to introduce the features gradually. The Plus and Enterprise users will get to try them out in the next two weeks, others soon after. ChatGPT's new capabilities show that OpenAI is treating its artificial intelligence models, which have been in the works for years now, as products with regular, iterative updates. The company's surprise hit, ChatGPT, looks more like a consumer app competing with Apple's Siri or Amazon's Alexa. Making the ChatGPT app more enticing could help OpenAI in its race against other AI companies like Google, Anthropic, Infection AI, and Midjourney by providing a richer feed of data from users to help train its powerful AI engines. Feeding audio and visual data into the machine learning models behind ChatGPT may also help OpenAI's long-term vision of creating more human-like intelligence. OpenAI's language models that power its chatbot, including the most recent GPT-4, were created using vast amount of text collected from various sources around the web. Many AI experts believe that just as animals and human intelligence makes use of various types of sensory data, creating more advanced AI may require feeding algorithms audio and visual information as well as text. To support the voice feature, OpenAI uses Whisper, its speech recognition system, to transcribe a user's spoken words into text and a new text-to-speech model that can generate human-like audio from text with just a few seconds of speech. The company collaborates with professional voice actors to create all five of the ChatGPT's voices that users can select from. 
The voice and image features will be available only for ChatGPT Plus and Enterprise in the next two weeks. However, OpenAI says it will expand access to the feature for other users, such as developers, soon after. Most of OpenAI's changes to ChatGPT involve what the AI-powered bot can do, questions it can answer, information it can access, and improved underlying models. This time, though, it's tweaking how you use ChatGPT. The company is rolling out a new version of the service that allows you to prompt the AI bot not just by typing sentences into a text box, but by either speaking aloud or just uploading a picture. The new features are rolling out to those who pay for ChatGPT in the next two weeks, and everyone else will get it soon after, according to OpenAI. OpenAI's excellent Whisper model does a lot of speech-to-text work, and the company is rolling out a new text-to-speech model it says can generate human-like audio from just text in a few seconds of sample speech. You can choose ChatGPT's voice from five options, but OpenAI thinks the model has vastly more potential than that. OpenAI is working with Spotify to translate podcasts into other languages, for instance, all while retaining the sound of the podcaster's voice. There are lots of interesting uses for synthetic voices, and OpenAI could be a big part of that industry. Almost a year after ChatGPT's initial launch, OpenAI is still trying to figure out how to give its bot more features and capabilities without creating new sets of problems and downsides. With these releases, the company attempted to walk the line by deliberately capping what its new models can do. But that approach will only work for a while, as more people use voice control and image search. And as ChatGPT inches closer to being a truly multimodal, useful virtual assistant, it'll get harder and harder to keep the guardrails on. Private Chats As with many recent advancements in the wild world of generative AI, ChatGPT's updates will likely spark concerns for some about how OpenAI will wield its new influx of voice and image data from users. It has already culled vast amounts of text image data pairs from the web to train its models, which power ChatGPT and OpenAI's image generator, DALI. Last week, OpenAI announced a significant upgrade to DALI, but a firehose of user-shared voice queries and image data will likely include photos of people's faces or other body parts, takes OpenAI into newly sensitive territory, especially if OpenAI uses this to enlarge the data pool it can now train algorithms on. OpenAI is still deciding its policy on training its models with users' voice queries. When asked about how user data would be put to work, Sandhini Agarwal, an AI policy researcher at OpenAI, initially said that users can opt out, pointing to a toggle in the app, under data controls, where chat history and training can be turned off. The company says unsaved chats will be deleted from its system within 30 days, although the setting doesn't sync across devices. New ChatGPT Update September 2023 OpenAI is deploying these features gradually as part of a strategy to refine risk mitigations and prepare for more powerful systems in the future. The new voice technology presents potential risks, such as impersonation or fraud, which is why it is being used specifically for voice chat. Vision-based models also present challenges, such as hallucinations or misinterpretations, which OpenAI has tested for risk prior to deployment. In developing the vision feature, OpenAI collaborated with Be My Eyes, a mobile app for blind and low vision people. This collaboration helped OpenAI understand the uses and limitations of the vision feature, ensuring it is as useful and accessible as possible. To respect individuals' privacy, technical measures have also been taken to limit ChatGPT's ability to analyze and make direct statements about people. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments section below. If you liked today's video, then leave a thumbs up, and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. See you again soon in another video.